Hey guys, um, the manufacturer sent me this Shield CQS site to take a look at. So I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it and some of my initial impressions on it before I take it out on a hunt in a few days. It's a mini red dot site, about the same size as a lot of other mini red dot sites you've seen. This one is from TNVC. It's uh, basically a doctor optic ripoff. One of the things that, a few things that set this apart from other mini red dot sites is that the case is much, much thicker. Theoretically, that'd make it a lot sturdier. It also has a lens at the rear of the site rather than just the front and the rear, and that should make it a little bit more weatherproof. And it has a battery compartment on the side rather than on the bottom. That means you can change your battery without disturbing your zero. Lastly, it has this little switchy cover plate thingy up front with an additional light sensor. And that matters because automatically adjusting uh, red dot sights can often have difficulty with um, looking from dark light conditions to light light conditions. Uh, for example, if you're inside a building looking out to a bright sunny day, some auto adjusting sights can wash out a little bit. The, the brightness of the dot is adjusted to the dimmer conditions inside rather than outside on the other side of that window. Another time they have difficulty is in near or complete darkness. When you have a weapon mounted light, they can wash out against white walls and whatnot. So I tested in both of those conditions. Um, looking from inside to outside, this site performs great. You can see the reticle even when you're looking at a big, huge, bright white wall with sunlight shining on it. Doesn't do so good in that second case, indoors with weapon mounted light. Uh, don't get me wrong, you can see the the reticle on a dark background. You just can't see it like at all against a white wall. And it kind of matters because you know most of us have well white walls in our homes. A few other kind of nitpicky things is that the mount is polymer. It seems like it's good polymer, like a glass filled nylon or something, but it's not aluminum. That may sway you one way or another. The elevation and windage adjustments don't have positive click. They don't have any clicks. They're stiff, so they shouldn't wander too badly, but I would prefer that they have nice positive click adjustments. And like I said, I'm going to take it on a hunt in a few days and we'll see how it performs in field conditions. But that's my first thoughts on it. Another thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to thank you guys for supporting the channel, for liking, subscribing, and commenting. It really makes a big difference. I appreciate your support. Um, so what I'd like to do is I would like to give Banana Pot Pie either the Velcro bolt face logo patch or the Gemtech flag that you saw in my me complaining about everybody else video. If you're interested in them, if you want one of them, let me know which one you want and I'll send it out to you. Finally, uh, people have been telling me that I have to do the social media thing and all that, so I guess I did. Uh, I set up a Facebook page, a Twitter feed, I think is what you call that. I don't know, I don't really Twitter, but we'll see how it works out. And a Patreon account. Uh, I guess a lot of people have asked if there's a way that they could monetarily support the channel. And I don't want you to feel obligated <laughs> at all. YouTube is free, it's supposed to be free. I do this because I like it, but if you want to, if you want to help me buy more cool stuff to, to test, ammunition and gel and whatnot, um, I certainly wouldn't turn down the help. Um, so I'll put the links in the description. Um, definitely head on over and check out the Facebook page because I'm probably going to use it to post pictures and whatnot. And I might even put up a video early there every now and then. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support, guys. Have a great day.
either the Velcro patch or the Velcro 